our Velpo alumni and friends. This is Stephanie from Alumni Engagement. Welcome back to Web Bytes, our new series where we're going through some of the features at alumni.velpo.edu. Today, we are going to focus on the networking tab. This is mostly fun stuff. We're going to introduce you to the VUAA board and some of the ways to get in touch and volunteer. So our first tab on here is Valparaiso University Alumni Association. If you're watching this video, you're probably a member of the VUAA. So here at this tab, you can learn a little bit about your VUAA board of directors. Um, there's also a form here that you can fill out called the Alumni Involvement Form. If you think that the VUAA board is something that you might be interested in. There's also some other items that you can check here that you think you might be interested in too. Like for example, if you were to choose alumni award nominations, we can get in touch with you and show you how to do that. Uh, things like that. On this page too, we feature our VUAA board president, Chelsea Bradford Gordon, class of 2016, as well as our exec board here at the top and all of our at-large VUAA board members. Perhaps you know some of these folks. Give them a shout out. Tell them thanks for serving on the VUAA board. We love working with them. Uh, and we've got Sarah featured here right now, but these switch out. Also under networking is that volunteer page. We talked a little bit about it in the first installment of Web Bytes where we went through the home page. But just to reiterate, this is the place to go to learn about volunteer opportunities. Uh, it has contact information for us, for the University Guild, for admissions, for the Career Center, and for the Institute for Leadership and Service here on campus, which has some really interesting and unique opportunities like serving as a mentor for students completing a CAPS fellowship. Um, a lot of those are still remote, but Hopefully next year, we'll have some more students out in the field in cities around the country uh, and opportunities where you can help do some in-person mentoring with those folks. Also under our networking tab is alumni communities. Right now we have kind of a placeholder page there with a link out to Valpo clubs and some other info. Communities are still a work in progress, and really they're still in progress because we need to hear from you about what you want to see there. What were the groups and activities that really engaged you as a student with which you would like to stay in touch? We call them affinities here. That's kind of shop talk. So we need to know what your affinities are. So give us a buzz, send us an email. Um, we'd love to have your voice in that conversation. Also under networking is a link to our social media sites, including some of the networking opportunities on LinkedIn. Uh, Valparaiso University Alumni is a group that is alumni led. Uh, there's lots of folks in there and they share stuff occasionally. Um, Valparaiso University Alumni Career Network is managed internally by our Career Center. Um, and that is a super valuable group to be in. Job opportunities are posted there, both by the Career Center and by members of the group. And also just information about volunteering and services through the Career Center as well. If you're in CC, there's a couple different LinkedIn groups that are managed out of Christ College. Regular old alumni connections group. And then there's a separate job board group where you can post and or seek um, job information. If you're looking for your next role, that might be a good place to look um, and just to ask, hey, is anybody hiring? Here's what I do and here's what I'd like to do. International alumni, that's a group managed by the OIP here on campus. There's also some other groups here, the Society of Women Engineers, SWE, um, the Electrical Engineering Alumni and Students, um, and here's a really important thing. If you moderate a group on LinkedIn that is an affinity or Velpo alumni based information sharing, we would love to list it here so folks can find it and join it and engage with it because like any social media platform, LinkedIn is better if people do stuff. So let us know and we'll get it posted here. And if it's a private group, just let us know. We'll make sure people know that they have to request to join and might be asked for some information. 
Links to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube page are here. Though if you're watching this video, you probably already know where our YouTube page is. Hello, hello. And our e-news archive is listed here as well. Um, your alumni e-news comes to your inbox on the first and third Tuesdays of every month. If you are watching this and you say, mm, I don't think I'm getting that. First of all, check spam, obviously check, check your um, categories. If you use Gmail, it might show up in your updates or promotions folder. Um, or you might just not be getting it because some, of some kind of either ancient or new restriction on your email account, or we don't have your email address. So if you ever have a concern there, just reach out and we'll look into what the deal is. The alumni directory is here under the networking tab. Um, there's a couple different spots. So login is where you log in to access the directory. So if you click on it from here, it'll take you to that login page. Um, you won't be able to search until you are logged in. If you need to create an account, so this is separate from your Valponet account, um, an alumni directory account, you set a username and password and that's used only on our website. Uh, it's not used for things like ordering transcripts, logging into your email, stuff like that. Um, you will need to know your constituent ID to create that account. So if you don't know it, um, it's probably your student ID if you still remember that. So if you're someone who can remember everything from your time at Velpo, you might be set. But if you need that number, uh, just contact us and we will give it to you after we just verify who you are. Because again, that's a data point that's rather powerful. Um, and you'll need it in a 10 digit form to create your account. If you have a login, you can log in and search the directory. Our alumni directory is opt-in, right? So not everyone you might want to contact uh, might is in there. Uh, if that is the case that you're looking for someone, they're not in the directory, just reach out to us. And if we have contact information for them, we will contact them and let them know that you're looking to get in touch and provide them with your contact information. Again, we don't share. So if you ask for Susie Beacon's email address, we won't give it to you. But if we have Susie Beacon's email address, we'll email her and let her know that you'd like to get in touch. So that's how we facilitate those data connections. The alumni business directory. Um, so you can access it here and search. There's a few different ways to search. You can look, say like, oh, I live down here close to Columbus, Indiana. What's this business down here? Oh, it's a cool business owned by Lisa Thomas Reber. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Sorry if I'm not Lisa and you're watching this. So you can search that way. You can search the directory by um, kind of category or interest area, by location, by name. Uh, and you can also submit your business. You have to be logged in to do that. But once you're logged in, it's a simple little form, lets you upload a logo and you'll end up in the directory. So just a quick look of what that looks like. Here's Ryan's financial consulting business. We've got some other stuff going on here. Psychology, the joyful actor, Allison. We've got a chiropractor, Glenn. Um, got a couple that don't have pictures. If you have a picture, we'd be happy to put it on there. Just send it to us. Got a B&B &B here in Santa Rosa. Some very cool stuff and some new things since last time I looked. If you have a business and you want to get it listed and you just need help getting started, contact us. We'll get you in there. And the last thing on our networking tab is our podcast. Perhaps you've listened to Torchbearers, the Valpo Alumni podcast hosted by my colleague, Michael Beaver, class of 07. Um, he has had some really great guests on there. And we also sometimes will just kind of feed drop some other stuff that goes on on campus. So if you miss some of those alumni lectures, you want to listen to those, those are available too. Um, if you're a person that likes a short podcast, there's some of those. If you want to listen to something longer, if you've got a long drive and you really want to dive in, we've got some longer episodes too. These podcast episodes are also available as the saying goes, anywhere podcasts are found uh, and also on YouTube. So there's a playlist of those podcast episodes right here on our YouTube channel. 
That's the networking tab. Thank you so much for joining us for Web Bites, and we'll see you for the next one. Bye bye.